Hi, Lily. What are you doing? Florence and I were just taking a nature walk. Yes, a nature walk. Great idea. What's that? Oh, this is my very own just-in-time pocket, like yours. You mean just-in-case pocket. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, it's got all kinds of useful stuff in it. Some string, uh, a clothes peg, and uh, this. Big, isn't it? I borrowed it from my dad. Wow. Ooh. Hmm. It uh, might be even better with some glass in it. Uh, here, why don't you use mine? Yours? Are you sure? Of course. Sharing is what true friends do. True friends. Come here, rabbit. Come on. Huh? <laughs> Wake me up and I'll have you for lunch. I didn't mean to wake you. It was an accident. Come back here! That was close. It was fun. <laughs> Want to go on an adventure? We're already on one. Look, notice how it's shiny on top, but not on the bottom? Wow! No, I said adventure. Exactly. Today's adventure is a nature walk. A what? Yeah, you know, looking at leaves and trees and bugs. But Mr McGregor's garden is full of radishes right now, just waiting for us to... Hey, Lily, why is it greener around the edges? Because that's where the sunlight touched it. I know that for a fact. <sighs> OK, then. Need your walk it is. Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow! Oh, that's brilliant! <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it! Look! What? What is it? A secret tunnel? A hidden cave? <laughs> it's a ladybird that looks just like Florence. <sighs> I'm going to call him Lawrence and I'll carry him everywhere. Just like you do. <laughs> I just wish this nature walk was a little more adventury. Wait for me! That way! Do you hear that? Him. We can cover more ground if we split up. Let's go! Uh. Oh. Uh. Benjamin, I said split up! You didn't say how far. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, thought you were... <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were... The, the plum, plum thief. thief. <laughs> oh, we we know. know. It's no good. We'll never catch up. That plum thief is just too clever and too fast. My dad always said a good rabbit never gives up. 
But I know what we need. A shortcut. Look, the plum thief will have to go down this valley up ahead and this shortcut leads to the far end of it. It's that path right there. And if we take it, we can be at the other end of the valley waiting for him when he gets there. So the thief will run right into us. That's brilliant. Yeah, let's go. Wait, right into us? What am I saying? Wait! Rabbits are brave, rabbits are brave. <sighs> are you sure this is a good idea? Yes. Of course you are. Shh! Just be quiet. Sorry, Tubby's hungry. Well, it won't be long before we're feasting on that sweet, juicy plum. And we finally find out who we've been chasing. He should be coming down the valley any minute now. <laughs> Squirrel Nutkin? <laughs> he's the plum thief? Must be. And look, he's got my plum. OK, Nutkin, <gasps> let's have it. Huh? I've got to hand it to you. It was pretty <laughs> impressive how you got through Mr McGregor's fence and ditch. And the net. Yes, and the net. And got to that plum. Plum? What plum? The one you're holding behind your back? No! Sorry about that, my friend. Once again, my squirrely exuberance got the best of me and caused untold heartache. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> You can open your eyes now, Benjamin. We're on the ground. Uh, uh, I knew that. Um, I was just doing an extra long blink. The radishes are gone. The radish robber must have followed us here too. I say we could hold our breath, dive to the bottom of the river and eat our radishes there. Or I know a perfect spot at Hilltop Farm. We should tie it to a bird and eat it in the sky. Ooh, we should bury it until next summer. Hey! Huh? What if we just, you know, eat it right now? Brilliant! Yay, radish time! I tell you what, though, if I ever get my paws on whoever took our radishes, there'll be a... 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 furry? <gasps> Mr Todd! <laughs> Three little rabbits out in the woods all alone? You shouldn't sneak up like that. I'm a fox. Sneaking is sort of what I do. Oh, and what's this? A radish? Mmm. I am quite keen on the peppery flavour of raffinous sativus, as it happens. Maybe he's the radish robber. Ah, oh, <gasps> come, come, Peter Rabbit. Even your father never tried to outfox a fox. Dad's secret escape. Good old Dad. Very well, Mr. Todd. Ugh. You may have captured our last radish, but you won't catch us. Woohoo! Yeah! Ah, well, the main dish may have escaped, but the salad is intact. <laughs> Cheer up. We'll just get more radishes from Mr McGregor's tomorrow. Hey, can you smell that? <laughs> it can't be. It is! Radish, radish soup. soup! That's right. Little Cottontail brought them home. She just found them lying around in the woods. <laughs> our radishes? You, you, you've been taking all our radishes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done, Cottontail. Good scavenging. Much less dangerous than, say, taking them from Mr. McGregor's garden. <laughs> oh! Life's without a care when spring is in the air! Florence, the first butterfly of the year. That means spring has arrived. Don't let us all shine up like blue. The sun is 
strawberries to make some nice juicy muffins, Whoa. not throwing them around like that. <laughs> okay, okay, you win. Mm. Yeah, woohoo. Yeah, I love berry battles in spring. Where'd you get the helmet from anyway? Oh, I just sort of borrowed it. Oh, Benjamin, you two haven't been playing with my mixing bowl, have you? Mixing bowl? Um, I no. think we just should go and see what Lily's doing, don't you, Benjamin? All right, but if you find it, I'm trying to make more strawberry muffins. <laughs> Delicious. Amazing. Uh, oops. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Mr. McGregor would go away every day. Me too. Maybe we should be stocking up on food while we can. Lily's right. We can feed all our families for a week if we get enough food. Make four piles. Roots, fruits, greens and beans. <laughs> Let's hop to it. <laughs> roots, fruits, greens and beans. Fruits, fruits, greens and beans. Fruits, fruits, greens and beans. How unusual. A song about food sung by food. <laughs> Greeny beanie? You've been great, Cottontail. But better leave it to us now, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> have we got enough? I hope so. If I have to dig up any more radishes, I might turn into one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr McGregor could be back at any second. Don't worry, Lily. We're safe. In fact... Why don't we have some lunch? You took the words right out of my mouth. Mr. Todd! <laughs> Run! Mind. There's
there's plenty of other rabbits. Now, where are they? Excellent hiding, Lily. Little strawberry. I'm a little strawberry. <laughs> How considerate. Providing your own strawberry garnish. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Ooh. No, stop that! Ah! Ah, not on the tweed! Oh! When you said split up, I didn't know which way to go. Was I supposed to go left? Then straight, or oh, all oh, right, then left. The woods all look the same. I was so lost. I'm sorry, Benjamin. We shouldn't have split up. Poor Benjamin. <sighs> Thanks. Ugh. You know what you need, don't you? Yeah. Uh, no. What you need is a map. I do? Sure. To show you the way back to your house if you ever get lost again. Great idea, Lily. We'll need some. Paper and a pencil? Exactly. Just in case, Bucket. Just in case. Um. So you just follow the line all the way back. To the X and you'll be home. Easy. Wow. You're the best friends ever. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we'll show you how it works. <laughs> Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Oh, you lost the map. No, I didn't. <coughs> Boys, this is no time to argue. We've got to get that map before someone else does. <gasps> Mr. Todd! I was trying not to say his name. <laughs> Mr. Todd, but if he gets the map, it'll lead him straight to my home. That's not going to happen. We have to get him back. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Come on, let's hop to it. <sighs> right, time for a nap. What's this? Oh, not bad. A bit fancy for my taste. Still, worth hanging on to, I reckon. <sighs> There it is. <gasps> rabbits. One day, I'll eat those rabbits. If it's the last thing I... Hmm. What have we here? Why, it's a map to a rabbit's burrow. No! <laughs> what are you doing there, Todd? Ah, Brock. Funny you should ask. I was just admiring this, um, picture. I was thinking how splendid it would look in my lair. No way! It's mine! <gasps> Give it here! What, what do you want for it? Bag of worms? A, a bowl of grubs? Name your price. I'll take the worms. It's a deal. <laughs> a map to where those rabbits live. This is the best day of my life. Hey! What about me worms? Did I say worms? I meant to say what a beautiful, warm day we're having. Goodbye. Where did you go, you slippery little? Cheeky Robin, give that back! Try this on for size. I'll put you in a pain! It's now or never! Faster! Woohoo! We're flying! Oh, yeah! Yeah! We're really, really high up. We'll be okay, Benjamin, as long as we all keep. Pushing! Peter! Uh, 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 here. Again! And got it! Couldn't come home empty-handed, could we? Uh, 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 
good do those rabbits do it? I thought we'd agreed never to tell them about that crash. Yes. Oh, I, I suppose Mr. Bouncer may have let slip the tail of the flying machine. Me? I believe you showed them the photograph, Mr. Fisher. All right, there's no sense in arguing about it now. Anyway, I'm sure Peter and his friends aren't up to anything they shouldn't be. But Peter is always up to something, isn't he, Mopsy? Always, Flopsy. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't believe it! You found it! Of course we did! Nice of you to drop in, Peter. Uh, sorry if we made you jump. It's easier to fly than it is to land. Do you know what this means? Now we can all go on flying trips wherever we want! Think of the exploration! Oh, I'd love to visit the far side of the lake again. Excellent fishing over there, you know. Now, now, let's not get too excited, gentlemen. I'm happy that they found the flying machine, but the sky is no place for a rabbit. Isn't that right, Peter? Peter? Peter Rabbit. Just like your father. Peter! No! Enough to get me over my fear of heights. Oh. <laughs> Too tight? No, that's just fine. I wonder what's over that hill. Only one way to find out. What do you say then? One more time? Life is one. one. 